Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Exploring Briarwood. Today, we are exploring the two areas immediately north of Briarwood that I'm calling the institutions. Uh, those being South Andrews, which is immediately north of Briarwood, and the town immediately to the east of South Andrews, uh, that being Arno. So South Andrews will eventually be home uh, to the National University, and Arno is home to the National International Airport, for lack of a better phrase, uh, as well as kind of the, the home of the Air Force. But here you are seeing uh, what will be home to the South Andrews Frogs basketball team and the South Andrews Solars hockey team. So I believe, let me double check what I have decided to name this because I've been changing a couple names uh, of the different venues and this one I've decided to call uh, the Subway Center. So this is based on Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. There you see kind of that, that single, um, not end zone, but you know what I'm saying, that behind one of the nets at uh, in Toronto, they have kind of this wall of boxes and that's what you're seeing here. Um, orange seats instead of kind of the... Uh, amalgamation of the different colored seats in Toronto. Um, I can't remember if they've changed those recently or not, but it used to be kind of this weird rainbow effect of black, red, and yellow. But that is the Subway Center, home of, like I said, the South Andrews Solars and Frogs. Immediately to the west of that, um, not immediately, it's a little ways away, across the tracks and whatnot, is going to be Dove Stadium. Now this is based on Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, home of the New England Patriots as well as the New England Revolution. But uh, it's set up for soccer right now. Over there, you see the bridge and the lighthouse. I'm, I haven't decided whether or not I want to um, do the new Gillette Stadium, not expansion, but they did a renovation where they have this massive video board behind this end zone now, and they've also um, enlarged, that's not a word, um, enlarged the lighthouse behind it so that it doesn't feel out of place in comparison to the scoreboard. This is based on the original design. I haven't decided, like I said, if I want to do the new design as well. But uh, then you'll see there's going to be a kind of mid-level upper deck section, uh, a bunch of different box areas, and then an upper deck above that. The main seat color is going to be uh, pink, and then there's going to be blue sections in the middle as well, kind of the, the double colored design of Gillette Stadium as well. But this is home to the South Andrews Choppers uh, football team as well as uh, South Andrews Rangers, I believe is the name of the soccer team. A couple different locker rooms here. I believe you've already seen these in a previous video. Uh, and then media rooms are what's new over here. So colors of the choppers, that pink and gray, and then pink and blue uh, for the Rangers. And then behind that to the immediate west, this time actually immediately, uh, is going to be Tonberry Park. This is based on Fenway Park uh, with a little added benefit of the ivy from Wrigley Field. Now you can kind of see uh, this will be the design of the different decks here, just kind of like a standard ballpark um, with an upper deck, a middle section, and then a lower level here. Flipped outfield, so you have the, <laughs> I've called it the Crimson Beast, uh, is the Green Monster replication in right field. The weird dimensions that Fenway Park has, very deep left field section with a tiny little foul pole uh, about 300 feet down the line. Deep left field. Then here is going to be the side-by-side -side bullpens. Uh, eventually I'll have, not corporate signage, because Tonberry is not, it's going to be just the name of the street nearby. Uh, and then I'll have a party deck above left field, I believe, is what I decided on. But this, like I said, is Tonberry Park, uh, replicated off of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. So uh, two Boston venues side by side. I promise I didn't do that on purpose. And actually, originally the, the Subway Center was called, oh, I forgot there was a beacon there. Very cool. Uh, it was called, I think, TD Forum. And then I realized that sounded too much like TD Garden. And then all three of the venues were going to have that Boston feel. So I decided to change it um, to Subway, the Subway Center. A bit of a ways away here, I'll travel as fast as I can to the station that is not in existence. 
eventually I will get to these stations. After stadiums, stations are next on my list, followed by schools, government buildings, that sort of thing, and then we will slowly build the towns out from there. But we are going to go east from South Andrews to a town called Arno. And if I can steer the boat straight, we will get to Arno a lot faster. Arno is um, based on the area of Switzerland called Argau, but it will also be home to, like I said, the international airport that represents kind of the entire country, uh, as well as the Air Force installation. So a lot of the teams are going to have names dealing with the sky, uh, such as the pilots, the airmen, the condors, um, that sort of thing. The highlights isn't quite, it's actually based more on a bridge um, from a town near where I grew up. Uh, they had a bridge called the Highliner Bridge, and so um, the highlights logo is kind of like the Golden State Warriors. It's going to be a bridge, um, but light blue is kind of the, the theme color for the town of Arno. What's different since the last time we were here? You can probably see it to your immediate right. This is, oh gosh, what did I call this? Did I call this the Mattis Academy? Um, it's named after a former mentor of mine, if that is the name I decided to go with. Um, but this is based on a high school that I went to um, in the town that I grew up in. So uh, feel free to piece together which school this is based on. Um, it's mirrored, so it's not a direct replica, um, but it is basically to scale, just flipped in a mirror. So uh, two different gym areas here, one on the upper level. This is just kind of a practice gym with those light blue seats uh, that Arno, the entire city, basically has. And then this is the main gym on the lower level. So this is the kind of athletics section here. Um, if I remember correctly, the music section is going to be over here with an auditorium. And then the whole school is basically one big, long, straight line. So four floors of different classroom areas here. And then there's kind of this out wing uh, for like physical sciences, mechanics, that sort of thing. But that is, like I said, I think it's called the Mattis Academy. Um, otherwise, I will find a different name for it. But that is the local school there. This, uh, let me use my cheat sheet again and find Arno on here. Arno, where are you at? Do, do, do. Uh, this is AT&T Arena. So this is based on Rogers Place in Edmonton. You'll eventually be able to see it with the different um, corner sections here as soon as they are kind of filled out. Light blue seats. This is home to the Arno Condors hockey team and the Arno Pilots basketball team. Eventually there will be a basketball court in the middle there uh, since it is based on a real hockey arena without a basketball team in uh, tenureship. Sure, that's a word. Um I'm gonna put a basketball court in the middle just to kind of change up the feel of it. Over here is Intel Park. This is the one that's based on uh, Oracle Park in San Francisco, home of the Giants. Again, flipped outfield. So the McCovey Cove section would be in left field now. I'll drop down so you can see the view here. Behind it is of course BP Stadium. We'll touch on that in a sec. There is the big Intel logo above the center field scoreboard. Here's that wall section, or yeah, the, the big wall in now left field. Bullpens will be in center. Uh, I'll put some playground devices here. I haven't decided if I want to build like an actual plane in the outfield to kind of give it that, that airman uh, effect. And then just kind of the general shape. You can see I'm starting to build the balcony here. It'll have kind of that classic ballpark feel um, since brick is kind of the motif I've gone with. So uh, that dark green copper feel to it, not copper specifically, but a dark green feel to go with kind of this ancient ballpark aesthetic. And then of course, media rooms over here. I can't remember if I built them on that arena yet. I don't think I did, but um, colors of the Arno Airmen there colors of the San Francisco Giants there, just a visitor's room. I do apologize, my neighbor's dog seems to be barking in the background, if you can hear that. I always apologize for noise in the background, it's usually my cat playing with something or my baby crying. 
Uh, and then over here is BP Stadium. Now this is based on Cleveland Browns Stadium in Cleveland. I think on the last video, I used the sponsorship name First Energy Stadium. Um, they have rescinded or their uh, naming rights deal with the Cleveland Browns has expired. So the Browns are just using Cleveland Browns Stadium for this season. Light blue seats instead of orange. Orange end zones uh, for the Arno highlights, but Arno City is the soccer team that also plays here. That will be what this stadium is set up for uh, once I complete all of the lines. There you can kind of see there's going to be a big upper deck up there that I've decided to fill, and then eventually it'll fill around the entire stadium. Weird little corner section I really like at Cleveland Brown Stadium. And then here you see the different media rooms. This is the uh, Arno City, the soccer team, and then the Arno Highlights football team. Kind of looks teal. It's not supposed to be teal, but those are the colors there. So that is Arno. We already visited South Andrews. Uh, next week, we will be going to Zaxton and Sharing, kind of my favorite area, or my, <laughs> I suppose, the area I've spent the most time in of all of the Briarwood uh the different towns that I have on this world. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, hope to see you on this channel very, very soon.